exploring the poor country with alluring women. Have you ever dreamed of a journey to explore a mysterious land where ancient castles hide countless secrets and beautiful, hot and seductive girls? Romania is the ideal destination for you. This place is known as the jewel of Europe with its diverse and unique beauty. Romania is also the most biogeographically diverse country in the European Union. It has majestic snow-capped mountains, lush green hills covered in forests and vineyards, white sandy beaches stretching along the Black Sea coast, and the largest delta in Europe. You will enter ancient castles, where mysterious historical stories are waiting for you to discover. The mysterious and seductive beauty of Romanian women will make your heart flutter. Besides, you will find it interesting because this place has a novel online sex industry or a humorous area, where graves are decorated with humorous, colorful images. Please join me to explore Romania and enjoy the wonders that this land has to offer. Number 21. Billion Dollar Online Adult Entertainment Industry in Romania This industry is a gold mine for Romanian tycoons as pornographic websites in this country have the highest traffic in the world. Therefore, thousands of women are recruited to receive customers via online webcam. In central Bucharest, a group of young women dressed scantily smoked, talked and laughed on the sidewalk at the foot of a high-rise building. They are waiting for their shift to receive guests. Inside the building, the first two floors are divided into 40 small rooms that have been fully rented by Studio 20. Each room has pictures of seductive nude girls. When the room is closed, the girls are practicing interacting online with customers via webcam. This is allowed by Romanian law, as long as they are in the room alone. In the world of online virtual relationships, the girls who provide services are called models and the men who watch are called members. This sensitive industry is anonymous, even studio owners do not reveal it to their family and friends. All models use fake names or names listed online. The online porn industry is the safest in this industry because customers are far away and cannot influence the service staff, according to girls working in this industry, because they can block that person's access. In addition, you can notify the website administrator to block the visitor's IP to ensure they can no longer contact you. Number 20. Slave Village in Romania. In 2018, the world was shocked when information about the slave village Berevoesti was revealed. Dozens of people, mostly young men, were detained and forced to work in extremely poor conditions. They were beaten, starved, and even sexually abused. This place has become a symbol of cruelty and injustice, a haunting stain in modern society. Every year, thousands of girls, some as young as 13 years old, are kidnapped or lulled by promises of high-paying jobs or rich husbands are sold to criminal gangs. Their status is no different from ancient slaves, without rights, abused and only existing to make money for their masters. Life in the slave village of Berevoesti is in stark contrast to the peaceful image of other Romanian villages. Instead of warm houses and colorful flower fields, there are only shabby houses, dark streets, and a stuffy atmosphere. Young people, who are inherently the breadwinners of the family, now have to live in slavery, are exploited for labor and deprived of the most basic freedoms. The kidnappers took the victims back to the village, forcing them to do housework, take care of animals, and do illegal logging. Not only that, but teenagers are also often beaten, sexually abused, starved, and fed leftover food. The cause of this tragedy is a combination of factors including poverty, unemployment, lack of education and indifference of local authorities. Human traffickers take advantage of people's difficult circumstances, promising them jobs and a better life, but in reality, they imprison and force them to work in cruel conditions. Number 19. Life underground in the heart of Bucharest. Beneath the bustling streets of Bucharest, the capital of Romania, lies a completely different world where drug addicts seek refuge from the scrutiny of society and the cruelty of life. They live in bleak, damp tunnels where darkness prevails and despair is ever-present. The sewer system and heating tunnels beneath Bucharest's ground have become homes for hundreds, even thousands of drug addicts. There is no sunlight, no clean water, no adequate food, only darkness, rodents and pervasive despair. Most of those living underground are victims of addiction. They were once ordinary people with families, dreams, but they lost everything due to falling into the abyss of addiction. They are abandoned by society, shunned by their families, and left with only the wandering path of life underground. At the head of the underground city is a man named Bruce Lee. To the residents here, he is a father figure, a doctor, and an endless supplier of drugs for the constant cravings of the addicts. 
The dire living conditions underground make drug addicts susceptible to dangerous infectious diseases like HIV and tuberculosis. Violence is also a constant threat, as drug traffickers V for territory or desperate addicts attack each other to steal food or money. Death is always looming, whether from illness, deprivation or violence. Escaping life underground seems impossible for many addicts. They are imprisoned by their addiction, by fear and by a lack of self-belief. The endless cycle of drugs, violence and despair seems to have no way out. Number 18. Romania is one of the world's top human trafficking countries. Romania has long been known as one of the countries with the highest human trafficking rates in Europe. It's seen as a destination for traffickers to exploit, exploit and torture victims, turning them into slaves in the modern world. Statistics show that thousands of Romanians, mostly women and children, become victims of human trafficking every year. They are deceived, promised good jobs, a wealthy life, but they are sold to trafficking rings, forced to work in terrible conditions, exploited, abused and even killed. In the first nine months of 2015 alone, there were 1,400 victims of human trafficking from Romania and 200 perpetrators were arrested. Italy is the country most chosen by Romanians as their destination. These criminal organizations are very difficult to eradicate because they have millions of tentacles around the world specializing in hunting children to buy and sell. Customers are not lacking and children are always the favorite prey of criminals. They lure and deceive young women in Romania, take them abroad, and force them to work in illegal businesses. The main cause of child trafficking is the extreme poverty of many families in Romania. Many families in Romania, due to extreme poverty, have sold their children to traffickers, hoping that after the change, their children will have a better life abroad. In addition, according to a representative of a social selection organization in Romania, teenagers going abroad are often running away from their families. Families are broken or because of poverty, the vice of alcohol. According to Romanian police investigations, in recent years, thousands of children have been sold abroad from this country, with 180 children being found by authorities in the UK. The Romanian government says they are trying to combat human trafficking and abuse in this country. Number 17. Merry Cemetery in Maramures. Nestled amidst the lush green hills of Maramures, Romania, lies a unique secret, the Merry Cemetery. Here there's no somber atmosphere like conventional cemeteries, instead, it's filled with bright smiles and whimsical stories carved on colorful tombstones. Imagine strolling amidst rows of vibrant tombstones, where each slab tells a unique story about the life of the departed. Instead of mournful words, there are humorous poems, whimsical illustrations, even gentle teasing for the departed. The unique origin of this cemetery stems from a local carpenter named Stan Ioan Patras. In the 1930s, he began carving poems and images onto tombstones, turning farewell messages into whimsical tales of the deceased's life. The Merry Cemetery is not only a final resting place for the departed, but also a place to honor life and beautiful memories. Residents come here to remember loved ones, share stories and laughter, turning it into a warm and meaningful community destination. Number 16. Nightlife in Romania. Bucharest, the capital of Romania, turns into an entertainment playground when the sun sets. It offers everything from themed bars and electronic music clubs to elegant concert halls, providing a plethora of options for those seeking joy and entertainment. Imagine this, you're walking down a lively street at night in Bucharest, and you come across a beautiful woman dancing sensually in a bikini at a nightclub. It's truly magical. The heart of Bucharest nightlife is the old town, a quaint area of the city with narrow streets, historic buildings, and a vibrant atmosphere. Visitors can enjoy the lively nightlife with bars and restaurants open until the early hours of the morning. You can find everything from cozy bars with live music to clubs with famous DJs attracting large crowds and beautiful Romanian women. Their beauty is often praised for its allure and distinctive features. Number 15. Hoya Basiu, the most haunted forest in the world. Deep within the dense fog of Transylvania, Romania, lies the Hoya Basiu Forest, like a gateway to another world. It's dubbed the most haunted forest in the world, hiding countless mysteries that make anyone who sets foot here shudder. According to legend, it's named after a shepherd who entered the most haunted forest in the world with a flock of 200 sheep and never returned. Stepping into Hoya Basiu, you feel like you've entered a gloomy realm, where sunlight rarely penetrates the dense canopy. 
The eerie twisted trees with crooked trunks resemble fallen giants, creating a chilling and haunting landscape. Rumors about Hoyabashu make it even more mysterious. It's said that UFOs frequently appear in the forest's sky, shadowy figures hover in the mist, and horrifying screams echo in the eerie realm. Hoyabashu gained international attention in 1968, when Emil Barnier, a military technician, photographed what he believed to be an unidentified flying object hovering over the clearing, but this was later dismissed by the government. Additionally, some visitors report feeling nauseous, dizzy, and disoriented. Many suffer scratches and unexplained bruises when they come here. Many brave tourists visit Hoyabasiu to challenge themselves and explore its mysteries. However, many have mysteriously disappeared, never to be found. What do you think about this mysterious forest? Leave your comments below. Number 14. Romanian women mysterious and irresistibly alluring. Nestled behind the majestic Carpathian Mountains, Romania not only boasts ancient castles and breathtaking natural landscapes, but also attracts tourists with the mysterious beauty and irresistible charm of its women. Romanian women possess a blend of Eastern delicacy and Western strength and openness. They have graceful features, flowing long hair and deep, captivating eyes. Their beauty shines not only from their outward appearance, but also from within, exuding confidence, intelligence and resilience. Moreover, Romanian women possess a mysterious allure that piques curiosity. They harbor stories, hidden corners that not everyone can understand. Their gentle smiles, sparkling eyes, and graceful gestures mesmerize tourists, plunging them into their own world. Furthermore, Romanian women are not only beautiful but also possess extraordinary inner strength. They have experienced many historical ups and downs, faced numerous challenges, yet have maintained their courage and resilience. With their irresistible charm, they captivate men and evoke envy from women of other nations. They know how to attract attention with their physical beauty, elegant gestures, and intelligence charm. They always stand out in the crowd, making others unable to look away. What do you think about the beauty of Romanian women? Leave your thoughts below. Number 13. Bear Dance Chasing Away Evil Spirits Bear dancing is a traditional dance that Romanians perform on the first day of the new year. It's also called the bear dance because people will wear bear fur and begin the performance. This dance is indispensable in Romanian life. In the Romanian belief, this dance helps them drive away bad luck, misfortune, evil spirits, and bring many blessings to them in the new year. Hundreds of people of all ages, dressed in bear costumes, dance every year on Christmas in the sound of lively drums and wander through villages and towns in Romania. On this day, tourists can admire the sight of people wearing costumes with gaping bear jaws and clawed paws parading and dancing. Participants in the festival said that most of the bear skins they use as costumes have been preserved through generations and handled with extreme care. Wearing a large bear fur suit is not easy as it includes the head and claws, and the costume can weigh up to 50 kilograms. According to local media, the most expensive bear fur suit can cost around 2,000 euros. Additionally, for native people, the image of the bear has flowed in their bloodstreams for a long time and is considered their mascot. Brown bears are widely present in the traditions and culture of Romania, and people can often see this animal on mountain roads and in forests. Overhunting of bears has led the government to issue a ban in 2016. Number 12. Dracula Castle, a place of chilling secrets. Perched precariously on rocky cliffs in Transylvania, Romania, Bran Castle, also known as Dracula Castle, has long sparked curiosity and fear in the hearts of travelers. It is believed to be the residence of Count Dracula, notorious in Bram Stoker's novel of the same name, evoking images of terrifying vampires with sharp fangs and a thirst for blood. Bran Castle was built in the 14th century, originally as a military fortress to defend Transylvania's border against Ottoman invasions. However, it soon became associated with the name of Vlad I. 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 Teps, also known as Vlad the Impaler, a notorious Wallachian ruler known for his cruelty and brutality. Legend has it that Vlad Teps often tortured and executed his enemies by impaling them on stakes, causing them to die slowly in excruciating pain. The image of Vlad Teps with his gruesome punishments is believed to have inspired Bram Stoker in creating the character of Dracula. After Vlad Tep's death, Bran Castle passed through many different owners, gradually falling into disrepair. By the early 20th century, Queen Marie of Romania purchased the castle and restored it as a summer residence. 
Today, Bran Castle is one of Romania's most famous tourist attractions. Visitors from around the world flock here to explore the castle's unique architecture, learn about its dark history, and delve into the chilling legends associated with Vlad Tepes and Dracula. Inside the castle, tourists can visit exhibition rooms displaying historical artifacts, medieval weapons, and even a collection of gruesome torture devices believed to have been used by Vlad Tepes. Visitors can also climb the watchtower to admire the spectacular scenery of the Transylvanian Valley below. Anyone interested in exploring this vampire castle? Comment below. Number 11. The Eye Houses in Romania. The city of Sibiu in Romania carries with it an ancient and mysterious beauty, attracting tourists with its unique architectural landmarks, among which the most prominent are the eye houses. Strolling through the ancient streets of Sibiu, tourists cannot help but be overwhelmed by a series of houses bearing large, dark, curious eyes peering down from their rooftops. The appearance of these eyes not only arouses curiosity but also creates a mysterious atmosphere, even a bit eerie for tourists. Many speculate that these are haunted houses, harboring dark secrets behind the gaze of the eyes. However, the reality is not entirely so. These eyes are actually uniquely designed windows, mimicking the shape of human eyes. This architectural style is most prevalent in houses located in the southern and eastern parts of the city. There are many explanations for the appearance of these eye houses. Some believe that it is a religious design reflecting the spiritual beliefs of the local people. Others believe that these eyes serve to cool the attic, where food is often stored. However, the most common explanation trusted by many is that this was the intention of the dictator Nicolae Ceausescu. According to legend, during Ceausescu's reign, he ordered the construction of these eye houses with the purpose of monitoring the people instilling fear and ensuring their compliance with regulations. Regardless of the reason, the eye houses in Sibiu remain a unique destination, attracting tourists to explore and experience. These mysterious eyes have become a characteristic symbol of the city, contributing to its distinct appeal on the world tourism map. Number 10. Romania's Extraordinary Cuisine Romanian cuisine is a symphony of colors and flavors, a harmonious blend of ancient traditions and cultural influences from neighboring countries. If you visit here, you can try traditional dishes like mamaliga. This is Romania's national dish made from boiled cornmeal with a rustic and simple flavor. Mamaliga is often served with cheese, sour cream, or hearty stews. Sarmel is also a popular dish in Romania, which is cabbage rolls stuffed with minced meat, rice, and spices, offering a harmonious sweet and sour taste, a common dish during Romanian festivals. Additionally, there's sioba, a traditional sour soup you should try when visiting here. Number 9. Serious doctor shortage in Romania. In Romania, the healthcare system is facing a crisis, a shortage of medical personnel, especially doctors. This situation not only affects the quality of healthcare services, but also raises many troubling questions for the future. One reason is that many Romanian doctors choose to emigrate to other European countries because they offer higher salaries and better working conditions. It is estimated that up to 15,000 doctors have left the country in the past 10 years. Additionally, the number of medical schools and spots for training doctors in Romania is limited, not meeting the demand. Furthermore, some healthcare policies are believed to be ineffective in attracting and retaining doctors, especially in rural areas. The shortage of doctors has led to prolonged waiting times for medical examinations. Most hospitals and clinics are overcrowded, causing patients to wait for hours, even days, to receive medical care. The doctor shortage may lead to an increase in mortality rates, especially for patients with chronic illnesses or in need of surgery. According to Eurostat, Romania had a ratio of 333 doctors per 100,000 people in 2020 much lower than the EU average of 393 doctors. This situation is expected to worsen as nearly 60% of doctors under 35 years old intend to leave the country. What do you think about Romania's doctor shortage? Please comment below. Number 8. Ibenthal is the strange village where nobody steals. Seemingly a fairy tale, but in Ibenthal, a small village in western Romania, theft simply does not exist. What makes Ibenthal unique is the absolute trust among its people. It's hard to believe, but here, money and belongings can be left unattended anywhere without fear of being stolen. Tourists visiting Ibenthal will love the fresh, peaceful atmosphere. Since there is no theft, Ibenthal doesn't need a police station. 
The villages are known for living in peace, respecting each other, and notably, the crime rate in the area is significantly lower than Romania's average. An interesting story demonstrating the honesty of the people of Ibenthal is bread delivery. Every morning, the bread vendor walks through the village, leaving loaves of bread according to each household's request in a straw bag hanging at the door. Then, residents put money in their bag to pay. This simple and trusting delivery system has been maintained for decades without any issues. Not only the story of bread or small amounts of money, but for a long time, the people of Ibenthal have been accustomed to respecting each other's personal property. They never set foot in another's house without permission. If they want to enter someone's house, they call from the gate. If there's no answer, they turn back without entering. Many are curious about the secret behind Ibenthal's tranquility. Some believe it's the result of a long history, religious faith, and a strong sense of community. Ibenthal is not just a unique village, but also a reminder of the power of trust and community spirit. Here, tourists will experience a safe and warm atmosphere, where people can live in harmony without worrying about negativity. Number 7. Easter Egg Tapping Competition Orthodox Easter in Romania is not only a time for prayer and remembrance of Jesus Christ's resurrection, but also a time for fun and entertaining activities, including the Easter egg painting competition and egg tapping game. Easter eggs are one of the important symbols of Orthodox Easter, representing new life and rebirth. These eggs are often brightly decorated with various colors and patterns. The Easter egg painting competition is a traditional activity held on the three days of Orthodox Easter. People of all ages participate in this competition with joy and excitement. They decorate their eggs with bright colors, unique patterns, and showcase their creativity. After completing the egg decorating, the egg tapping game begins. People gather and take turns gently tapping two eggs together. The goal of the game is to keep one's egg intact after colliding with another person's egg. The player whose egg remains intact after tapping with all opponents' eggs is considered the winner and receives small prizes. This game brings a cheerful and lively atmosphere, helping people bond with each other. The Easter egg painting competition and egg tapping game are an important part of the Orthodox Easter tradition in Romania. It's an opportunity for people to enjoy entertainment, showcase creativity and strengthen family and community ties. Number 6. Witchcraft in Romania is legal. In Romania, witchcraft is considered a profession. Moreover, it's a profession that brings in a lot of money. Witchcraft has long been seen as a folk tradition in Romania, and the internet has allowed the witch community here to transition their ancient practices into a more modern lifestyle and reach customers worldwide. In 2011, the Romanian government officially recognized witchcraft as a taxable business activity. Recognizing the profession of witchcraft is expected to boost Romania's economy, which is currently in a state of recession. Estimates suggest there may be thousands of witches operating in Romania, and their tax contributions could provide significant income for the government. Today, Romanian witch families attract a large number of customers through social media ritual programs. Prophecies, love spells, and many other requested services are performed in a very mystical setting near the capital Burest, Romania, 15 kilometers away. What do you think about the profession of witchcraft in Romania? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Learning Love Potion Crafting in Romania for 200 Years Are you seeking the secret to everlasting love? Look no further than the Cluj Napoca Pharmacy Museum, where the 200-year-old secrets of love potions will be revealed. Joining a special guided tour, visitors will be guided through the step-by-step -step process of crafting this elixir, providing the opportunity to ignite or strengthen current love connections. The secret lies in simple yet magical ingredients pepper, chili, hellebore, and sugar. Under the guidance of experts, visitors will hand grind these ingredients using mortar and pestle, then concoct them into a small, enchanting glass of wine. The Cluj Napoca Pharmacy Museum preserves mysteries of medieval medicine. It was once the first pharmacy in the city of Cluj Napoca, known as the Hints House, operating since 1573. For nearly 450 years, skilled pharmacists diligently concocted medicines, offering hope for healing to the sick. Visitors will marvel at the vast collection of specimens, from rare herbs to miraculous minerals, once used to treat ailments in the past. Most ointments and traditional healing formulas were prepared in the museum's secret underground chamber, where fascinating stories and mysteries and mysteries of ancient medical practices are preserved. Number 4. Christmas Pig Sacrifice Ceremony in Romania 
Winter in rural Romania is not just snowy roads and cozy houses, but also the time for the Christmas pig sacrifice ceremony. This is a unique yet controversial traditional ritual. Pork is the main ingredient in the Romanian Christmas meal, but slaughtering a pig is not just about obtaining meat. It's a reenactment of sacrificial rituals of ancient cultures, expressing gratitude to nature and seeking luck for the new year. The ceremony is usually performed by men in the family. After prayers, they will swiftly and humanely slaughter the pig. The blood is collected for making sausages, while the meat is processed into various dishes for the Christmas feast. The pig sacrifice ceremony is an important part of Romania's Christmas tradition, especially in rural areas. Many tour packages even advertise it as part of their winter tourism, attracting travelers who want to experience the local culture authentically. However, the pig sacrifice ceremony also faces much controversy. Animal rights activists condemn direct slaughter as cruel and unnecessary. What do you think about this practice? Please share your thoughts below. Number 3. The Bride Kidnapping Tradition in Romania In Romania, alongside long-standing traditional cultures, there's a unique and interesting wedding tradition that takes place every summer weekend known as the Bride Kidnapping Ritual. Instead of fleeing from marriage, the Romanian bride is kidnapped by her close friends. They will take the bride and groom to a secret location, often a bar or restaurant, and demand ransom from the groom to rescue his wife. The ransom amount is usually symbolic. It could be drinks, food, or a small sum of money. However, sometimes the groom may have to perform some humorous challenges to prove his love for the bride. The bride kidnapping. Ritual is an opportunity for friends and family to come together, share joy, and congratulate the newlyweds. It's also a chance for the bride and groom to showcase their bond and affection for each other. This tradition brings a cheerful, lively atmosphere and meaningfulness to the wedding day. It demonstrates community bonding and love among family members. However, it's important to note that the bride kidnapping ritual should only be carried out with the consent of both spouses. If the bride or groom feels uncomfortable, they can completely refuse to participate. Number 2. The Enchanted Night of Sanzien in Romania on June 23rd to 24th, as the night falls and the sky sparkles with stars, Romania is immersed in the enchanted night of Sanzien, a traditional festival steeped in mystery and romance. Legend has it that on the night of Sanzien, beautiful fairies will appear in the lush forests, dancing under the moonlight and bestowing blessings upon those lucky enough to encounter them. To have a chance to meet these fairies and receive their blessings, young girls will place some ladies' bed straw flowers under their pillows before sleeping. It is believed that if they dream of a charming prince on Boba Tiaza night, they will meet their dream man on the night of Sanzien. Furthermore, on the night of Sanzien, young girls have another unique tradition. They will throw a basket of ladies' bed straw flowers onto the rooftop of the house. If the basket does not fall to the ground, it means they will soon get married. Sanzien is not only a festival of love and marriage, but also a symbol of the power of nature and the connection between humans and the spiritual world. Today, Sanzien has become one of the most popular traditional festivals in Romania. It attracts tourists from all over the world to experience the mystical and romantic atmosphere, as well as to learn about the unique culture and traditions of the Romanian people. If you have the opportunity to attend the Enchanted Night of Sanzien, remember to place some ladies' bed straw flowers under your pillow and throw a basket of flowers onto the rooftop. Who knows, you might meet beautiful fairies and find your true love. Number 1. Ghost Villages in Romania Romania has ghost villages. These are abandoned villages that are attracting attention from tourists for their ancient beauty and mysterious atmosphere. These villages used to be lively communities, where people lived and worked. However, due to factors such as migration, economic and political changes, many people have been forced to leave their homeland, leaving behind empty and silent villages. Over time, these ghost villages have remained intact, offering tourists a glimpse into Romania's past. The old wooden houses, moss-covered cobblestone streets, and crumbling churches create a melancholic yet captivating scene. Walking through the deserted streets, tourists feel like they are turning back time, imagining the bustling life that once took place here. Stories of the old residents, customs, and cultural traditions gradually unfold before their eyes. Some famous ghost villages in Romania include Roja Montana, Located in the Apuseni region, Roja Montana was once a bustling gold mining town. However, after the gold mine closed, the residents moved elsewhere, leaving behind a ghost village full of old wooden houses and cobblestone streets. 
We've just explored Romania, the country with the most beautiful and charming roses. Are you impressed by the women of Romania? Feel free to comment and let us know your thoughts. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give the channel a like and subscribe to be the first to watch the latest videos on the channel. Now, goodbye and see you again.